Hello and welcome to us playing Planet Crafter. I will be starting a new save and as you guys requested you wanted to see a new planet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be calling it Groundworks Humble and of course we will be gonna choosing the new planet which is the DLC, the Humble Planet. And we're gonna go with the game mode standard which should hopefully relate. Okay. Trajectory. Imminent impact. Imminent impact. Love the short intro. So, <clears throat> long story short, uh, in previously Planet Crafter, if you haven't seen my playthrough, you can check it on my channel. Links will be in the description and in the top right corner. You are a convict convict that is supposed to be tra terraforming the planet. I don't know if that's the case in this DLC, but let's figure out. So, please ignore any previous attempts to terraform the planet. Welcome to the uh, uh, assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the process of terraforming this world. You will need to generate O2 heat and pressure. First, reach 175k of T and create a blue atmosphere, Sentinel Corp. Yeah, so pretty much same thing. And first thing that we do always, I go and I tool up. Let me see, we have here the crafting menu and we will need some materials so we can craft upgrades and whatnot. And here in the storage crate, we have survival gear. So typical survival game. And let's go figure it out. First, we're gonna be picking up iron and, oh, this is a new one, dolomite. I don't know what that material is, but looks new anyway. Magnesium we have seen in the base game. Titanium, it's a little bit more blue than it was, than I remember it. And okay, and here we have definitely some more components. Silicon, magnesium, cobalt, which is useful. Iridium and some food. Okay, that covers pretty much all of my inventory But if I go and craft a backpack, I will be able to do that So this is a typical survival game and as you can tell my O2 doesn't last very long So first things first, let's craft a backpack so I can carry more stuff and the moment I put it in I get an additional row nice So what else I can craft t1 oxygen tank? I need more cobalt Given that I've only seen cobalt in the box, maybe it should be in the box. What about the microchip construction? I need more silicone. So I need one more silicone and more cobalt. Silicone and cobalt. By the way, I could use this thing to leave the iridium and food that I don't need. And dolomite, I don't think I will need right now. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Silicone, definitely picking that up. Iron, yes, please. And I need to find more cobalt, but cobalt, as I said... I only, I haven't seen it running wild, so, okay, more silicone, snippia seed, iron is useful, eggplant seeds, water bottle I might take just for, you know, uh, actually I might leave it here because when I'm roaming around might be more useful. I do need to find more cobalt. So, and we have our task missions in the top left corner. First steps of things that we should be... Oh, oxygen levels low. Uh-oh. Yeah, just started out and I'm already in trouble. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, oxygen level critical. Will I make it? Will I make it? Yes, I will. All right, fair enough. Okay, crafting chip. I have everything I need for the crafting. So I'm going to be picking up the crafting chip. Snippia seeds, I can definitely dump you sunshine here. And craft T1 ore crusher. Can I craft the T1 ore crusher? What I need? I need three dolomite. I think I had one dolomite, don't I? Dolomite? Yep, I have one. All right, fair enough. I guess I need two more. So what I'm going to do, if it says craft T1 ore crusher as a priority, maybe there is a reason behind it. So, I need to find more dolomite, or if I can find... Okay, that's an empty one. Well, I... Oh, I cannot yet disassemble it because I don't have the disassembled chip. Got it. All right, living compartment. Yeah, we'll need to craft a small base, I guess. Okay, we have three dolomite, so we can definitely go and create the tier one or crusher, whatever the hell that is. That is a new component. I have played a lot of the base game, and I had an early playthrough, so I... It should be familiar. However, oh, insert ores to break them apart. And I'm guessing that it needs power. Uh, let's see. Do we have 
wind turbine. We could be making wind turbine. Let's try and put a couple of them. Hopefully this thing will pick up. Can I make more wind turbine? Yes. Okay. Uh, why is it not doing? Maybe I need a living quarters. Maybe I should build this for living compartment. One more iron and titanium. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going, you know, head before everything. Warning, low power. Yeah, no, no, no shit, Sherlock. So let me see. I need more titanium, iron, and uh, probably I don't need more magnesium. Oxygen level low. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Low power. Right? Fair enough. So if I create a living compartment here, well, let me try and first do the the wind turbines more. Because I think this thing is hungry. Oh yeah, there it works. See? It actually works. Good. What does it say? Okay, from this we could get this from insert ores to break them apart. Dolwyn could give me Oh. Okay, so dolomite I could harvest because I saw quite a bit of them. Titanium. I think I have enough titanium. No, I don't. Okay. Then a little bit more wouldn't hurt. Oxygen level low. Oh, I have to run again. I really have to get that tank, so I really need cobalt. And cobalt I will get from the dolomite. So I will actually try to get some dolomite. Do I have one more here? No, I don't. Okay, doke. Then let's try and figure out where Dolomite is. I think it's here, or Dolomite, I'm not sure. What does it say? Dolomite. Okay, Dolomite. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and I'm just gonna go pay picking up a few of them so I can get a bit more cobalt. Iron is always needed, and I will need it to construction my hab. However, I don't need a hab here yet. I would much rather have a cobalt, cobalt, and magnesium. Didn't I have magnesium? I thought I had plenty. Okay, I didn't. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to be inserting ores here. Dolomite and dolomite. Hopefully, we will be getting cobalt for that. And then we said we needed magnesium. And what else do I need for the chips? I would like to craft a deconstruction chip. And for the deconstruction chip, I have silicon and magnesium. Oh, I can build it, which means I did. All right, so I can deconstruct stuff. Fair enough. T1 drill, and we should be crafting now the oxygen tank. Okay, so crafting the oxygen tank requires cobalt and magnesium. Cobalt will hopefully come sooner rather than later, and then I need only the magnesium to be able to tool up. You know, this initial process is a little bit tedious because you have to gather all the materials that you might need so i'm actually just you know going running around like headless chicken to grab all the ores that i need to be able to tool up significantly however once i'm able to do that then it will be a whole different you know ball game whole different shebang okay replenishing and i need cobalt and i still need magnesium okay did I get some cobalt? Yes, I did. Okay, and I did not get magnesium yet. But silicone and iron are useful. Okay. Magnesium? I think I see it. All right, fair enough. And do I have enough room? Maybe I don't have enough room to pick up stuff from here. Oh, there's more magnesium. And there is a water bottle, which I might take. Okay, fair enough. All right, so uh, water bottle. I'm gonna just drink water when we are almost done. And now we're gonna be crafting the oxygen tank because without it, we cannot move pretty much anywhere. Okay, equipping, good. That's the tutorial, I think. So now we have living compartment, door and the drill. I'm actually almost thinking because I need this for a more permanent crafting living compartment. I might actually create a small base, you know, just here to have it nice sing kumbaya and all that jazz so living compartment door there we go crafter heater blue screen deal okay so now we should go with the drill i'm gonna go with the tutorial a little bit just see how it plays how it fares and okay now this is iron by the way okay tier one drill we're gonna be crafted tier one drill it's titanium and iron and from my experience, previous experience with the Planet Crafter, it's always helpful 
if you can create as much resources as you can that will help you in terms of terraforming so t1 drill one more don't mind if i do will we run out of power probably not yet okay and then we could do the veggie tube and all the other stuff so if we go in now we will be having our oxygen replenished hydration level low okay that's fixed now if we go crafting station i need iron i need more iron for the crafting station and if i don't see any in the environment which i do plenty of thank you very much i would have just gone and disassembled the box that i found uh, i think somewhere over there between the pillars and this is misleading this is almost thinking me that there is another box here so we have also a couple of screens that we need to craft blueprints terraformation so now i first want to do the tier 2 crafting station because that's kind of important to me there we go and then we are out of power you don't say okay then we're gonna make a couple more wind turbines because well those are super useful and needed and you don't the good thing about them you don't really need to worry about where you're placing them per se because it just works okay i think the another place where was some iron and the box was over here so i can actually empty out the box and then deconstruct it so is no longer misleading me some titanium and i think i need a lot of iron because if i was to craft a heater okay iridium i have one so i need silicone and iron and for the veggie tube i need ice and magnesium ice i haven't seen yet i hope i will oh tier 2 oxygen tank that's mighty useful let's see if we can get some more iron oh and i'm running out of oxygen so i should probably be hightailing it back yeah nobody said that this was gonna be easy warning oxygen level low yeah tell me about it all right so there we go now tier 2 oxygen tank and it's silicone and cobalt i think i might have in this decomposer silicon and cobalt silicon i did but if i put this dolomite i might get cobalt again so yeah that will take care of the cobalt good thing we discovered that you actually need this thing so then we have let's craft the screen terraformation let's go a little bit of the status panels terraformation i need cobalt for that uh furniture blueprints and energy levels uh can I create a craft a small desk here? Okay, small desk is here. Good. Blueprints, screen. Yeah, we do it like. Yeah. And then energy levels. Oh, I need silicone for that. I think I, there were plenty of silicone here nearby. So I might just go and discover them. Yeah, here we go. Silicone. Spit it out, son. Silicone. Silicone. How are we with it? We're good with titanium and all the other ores. Okay, fair enough. So then we need the energy level so we'll be able to make more informed decisions. By the way, this is just a makeshift temporary base. That's nothing special in particular of that. Okay, terraformation. That need we need a screen. Did we get Okay, not yet. This dolo one is still being collect your mind ores from that t1 heater heater we could do because i think we had this bad boy here and we'll need to eat soon and we have snapea seed so the idea is if i create veggie tube and everything else what are our power levels we have 0 10 available uh, to me that tells me there might be an additional need for a wind turbine or two so to avoid running out of electricity right okay hopefully screen terraformation okay heater we now we now need iron go figure and iron and ice okay so we need iron ice iron and ice that's fair enough now if we can check here iron iron cobalt nice okay hopefully that will help us address the more imminent problem screen terraformation how is our terraformation going we can place it here in the middle so we have a okay so we are 
there. We are starting to create pressure. No heat and oxygen because... Oh, and... Oh, is that a meteor storm? Sure looks like one. Okay, well, to be honest, I'm not overly concerned. Tier 1 heater. What can we do to create tier 2 oxygen tank? I need one more cobalt. That should be pretty simple and straightforward, I can tell you that much. So, uh... I need more cobalt, and that I need more this dolomite thing, and if I'm able to find more of this dolomite thing, I just might be perfect, so let's see. I could have crafted the heater, to be perfectly honest with you, but okay. Titanium, iron, I'm gonna take wherever I can, except if I don't see it, then I might pick up a little bit more. Let's go over this side. Is this dolomite? Yes, this is dolomite. Okay, so this will actually help us. And there is an additional dolomite. I don't have the, the battery microchip yet, sadly. That's a bigger downer. What do we have here? Oh, we have seeds. 200, 200, 350 and 300. Holy moly. Okay, I'm definitely picking those up. Okay, I have to run back, otherwise I'm gonna die a horrible death. But this has been enlightening. Oxygen level low. Uh, I understand. You know, I don't know about you guys, but for me, the worst thing that somebody can tell me, I understand. Because what usually that means, I understand and I don't give a shit about it. So, yeah, so when somebody tells you I understand, don't think that they're acknowledging, you know, whatever it is you're trying to tell them. It's more like, you know, I understand, whatever, you know. So, yeah, okay, so careful with that expression. Right, okie dokie. Now, I think I could be crafting the heater inside. So, at least to get the terraformation process going a little bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, heater, where do I want to place it? I think this is good enough. Uh, all right, that's tier one heater and then veggie tube. I need ice. Ice, so far, no luck. So I think I'm going to go further out. I have a feeling this to me looks like ice rocks. So I'm kind of hoping if I go that way, I just might be finding some ice. So that's why uh, that's my reasoning for going out in the first place. But as I said, I could be wrong about that. This is dolomite. At this moment, I don't need dolomite as much as I would need just ice. Yeah, this looks like icy caves. Uh, is there ice here? No, but there is iridium, which might I might find useful for another heater. Okay, okay this is different. Oh, ice! Nice! Okay, so I'm going to be picking a couple of ice. Because you never know what you're gonna need. New blueprint unlocked. Dolomite. Yeah. Okay. I think we're full. Okay. So another problem is that I'm going back and forth with everything full. And that's something that I should probably not do. Uh, right. So let, what are we gonna do? Oxygen level low. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just hoping I will be able to reach there in time. Or otherwise I'm gonna die and slow and horrible death. Oxygen level critical. Come on. Don't. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, 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 oh. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Minor, um, minor, minor heart attack aside. I think we could, should be able to craft our tier one veggie tube. There we go. And inside we should be placing this 350 insane level of this one. Uh, this plant, because once you put them inside, you're able to slowly start to introduce oxygen, and this is really important. Speaking of that, I might actually need one more silicone to shove up one more heater, and just to accelerate the process by a little bit. Okay, cobalt, iron. Now, let's see, can we really now craft the tier 2 oxygen tank? I need silicone and magnesium. Silicone and magnesium. Do I have anywhere else? Silicone and magnesium. I'm gonna actually dump these two because I don't need them. I have magnesium one here. I have one more magnesium here. I would need more silicone. Silicone has always been rich in this area, so 
I'm assuming if I go there, I'm probably going to find at least one or two, which I am, which is perfect. Silicon one and my water levels are starting to get low. That's all also something that I should be taking a care. And I have one more of this dolomite, which I'm going to be setting up for processing to give me a little bit more of cobalt. Right. Okay. That I think should cover us for a decent amount of time or brief amount of time resource wise. Good. Replenish the oxygen. Let's shove in another dolomite. Here we go. Okay, it's chunking out titanium. Where was I going? Oh yeah. Picking up a water bottle and then a food. So I'm gonna shove one of those down my throat and another one of those down my throat and then we should be dandy. So how are we consumption wise? Crafting screen progress. We should also craft the screen called progress, but I don't think we have it unlocked yet. And that's something we can check up in the blue. Tick. Okay, tier two backpack. So we said first oxygen tank. Let's craft the oxygen tank. That will give us the much needed range. Good. Then we need tier two backpack that we can craft as well. That will give us amount of stuff that we can carry and then tier one heater we need one more silicone for that so if i'm able to chunk down one more silicone i can have one more heater which would help us unlocking stuff faster i'm hoping that to, to be able to chunk here two veggie tubes and two heaters and obviously i'll need more power to be able to do that so i'm gonna chunk another wind turbine here and maybe one more oh i don't have the iron for it go figure all right do i have one more iron here nope not yet okay no iron on this side okay so let's go a little bit more exploring uh over there where we had ice we had a box of another with more flowers i think i, can, I have enough for for one more flower pot so if i go anywhere in that general direction i need more iron obviously titanium i have some everything else i need a little bit more ice iron obviously is my primary and main resource so like all those silicone and uh, magnesium if i pick them up you won't see me crying there we go magnesium iron Titanium, I think, like, we're good. Okay, so I would like more magnesium and silicone. One more magnesium, maybe dolomite or two. And maybe silicone, if I can muster any. Or at least some of these. Okay, silicone, silicone, good. 300 multiplier, yes, please. And cobalt, yes, please. All right. Now, that being said, I probably should be going down that way because, well, I just hope I don't die a horrible death of asphyxiation. Although, guys, technically there is a workaround that if you get very, very much in trouble, which I might be getting sooner rather than later. And let me show you the trick. Okay. If you have materials, you build a living compartment. There you go. You're building a door. There you go. Look at this. Bam! Oxygen replenished. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. So, and then you just basically deconstruct stuff. No problem. So, technically, it's a, <laughs> it's a workaround for sure. And it works. So, if you manage to do that, more kudos, more power to you. Now... I think I'm going to be constructing one more in our base, one more oxygen producer, because this will accelerate our terraformation index. Can I craft that one? Yes, I can. And there we go. And plant wise, we're going to stock you sunshine in and that will be beautiful. Right. See, oxygen heat pressure. Do we have a progress panel? Not yet. Is it somewhere here? Okay, so next we unlock at one KTI solar panel, which will be great. At more oxygen, we're gonna be unlocking indoor ladder, which is good. At heat, at 500 pk, we're gonna unlock vegetube. 
and then we come to tier, tier 2 drills and all that stuff. So what do we want to get closest? More heat. So one more heater. Do we have materials? I don't think so. Okay. So to me, what that says, we're going to have to do a bit more exploration. I'm going to chuck this one a bit more down. Oh, we have two cobalt, which is nice. And it's going to be needed. However, I'm thinking how much power we have available. Can we build a few more stuff? 0, 060. I could use more wind turbines. So if I chunk down two more wind turbines, I should be able to put in at least either a heater or veggie tube or something. So if I chunk down, let's say one, two more wind turbines. Do we have the materials to build a veggie tube? We do. And I think we haven't even even the plant to do it. So that might be just a, our way forward. It's 300% multiplier. Yes. All right. Do we have a real estate to chunk one in somewhere, anywhere? Well, if I move one, I should be possible. Yeah. Okay. So tell you what, Sunshine. You're going to get deconstructed. Not because I don't love you, but okay. So, here we go, and pick it in, son, and then we go the crafting station. You're going to be a little bit more in front of, no, uh, in front of this reporting. That's not good. I can still see it, so it's good. Solar panel, you don't say. So, if I build a solar panel, oh, I need one more cobalt for that. I could build one more drill. Which would accelerate things. So, let's see. Can we chunk down a solar panel? I need more cobalt for that. Do we have more cobalt? Yes, we do. Alright. Chunking in the solar panel. Come on. I actually like when, they're like when they look like this. There we go. And then I could do more T1 drill. That would... Okay, I need more iron. Oh, the irony of things. Is this iron? No. I need one more iron to be able to construct one more drill. And then I think we'll be on uh, on a good way to terraforming all together. Uh, silicone. We have plenty of silicone now. I'm a little bit lacking of iron. So I'm going to pick iron in my diet. Thank you very much. What is this? Iron. Beautiful. Okay, that actually will help us construct a drill or two. Who knows? One drill per cluster can actually help us a lot in terms of energy 0 0.5. So maybe I could do two. Can I do two without affecting the power grid? Oh, I can. Well, we have just doubled our output and you should always be thinking like that. Okay, so with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap it up for the today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Press like if you're enjoying the Planet Crafter and let me know what is your favorite planet. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks signing off from the first episode.